I don't know what's in this. This is a kit I put together years ago. I mean, maybe 15 years ago or more. And this is an M16 magazine pouch. This is what we had when I was in the Corps in the 80s. This will hold three 30-round magazines. Typically on the side, there are pouches for grenades. Uh, I usually cut them off. People find uses for them, but I find if you actually put this on a belt, it's just more comfortable if you have other gear on the belt to have them not there. I was in the habit of, I've got a small uh, pack, a, uh, a camel back I keep, well, it's usually in the house, but when I was hiking and I was going lighter, I just have a water bottle, maybe a little trowel to dig a hole if I had a poop or something. I would throw this in the pack just to kind of augment that. And there's supposedly, we'll find out here in a minute, some decent survival in here. And this just goes along the lines of, you know, you can take any container and turn it into a kit. So let's see what's in this. I haven't opened this in years. There's your uh, Mylar blanket. Uh, again, if you got this and you get lost in the woods, you wrap your body in this thing, it reflects your body heat, it will keep you alive through the evening. Uh, you can also use the signal, you can use it as a tarp, it's got many uses. All right, there's a, this is good, there's a Lansky knife sharpener here. This is a real good one, I've used this obviously before, but it's been a while. This is probably going to end up in another kit right now. But this this will sharpen. Uh, it'll it's good for the serrated knives. It's got the ceramic here. This is a really good one. I'm gonna put a cheaper one in here. I've got a whole bunch of twine right here. Jute cord, I believe this is. So this is good for. I mean, it's cordage. Do use it for anything, even starting fires. I'm gonna stick that back in the lid. <clears throat> this is heavy foil. I guess the idea here is I can make a cup or something out of this and boil water in it. Well, this ain't going to work anymore. I used to buy these all the time. <laughs> these little tiny flashlights. But there's no way. Yeah, batteries are dead in that. So it's probably just garbage. Uh, this is just a way to help you tie gear. It's another little strap uh, with some buckles on it. If I needed to tie some gear up this. Oh, by the way, on the dog collars in that other video, I forgot to mention it a moment ago. Those uh, dog collar straps or anything like this could also be used as a tourniquet. I can't believe I forgot to mention that in the last video. Um, uh, this was from a gun show. I remember this. This came with a neckline. I think it goes this way. And I think this was something they gave to us for free walking into a gun show one day. Uh, years and years and years ago. Arclight Cuda USA Daryl Ralph Design. Uh, and it's been used quite a bit. The tip is even busted off of it. So uh, it's a nice thing to have. Oh, I think we're going to get lucky here, man. Got some uh, 550 cord. My favorite. So more lip balm. Oh, man, this is going to have good stuff in it. This is the fishing kit for the USMC Survival Kit. Uh, it's, these things are extremely rare now. They're hard to find. I had two of them. It's two sealed plastic bags that are together. You cut them apart, and they're designed to fit in the cargo pockets on your trousers. And they've got all the good stuff in them. They even come with one of these knives. They come with one of these knives. They come with a nice lens out, a compass, uh, all kinds of gear. And this fishing kit is no, and I also know, should I go through this for you? Let's open this up in a minute, because I augmented this to make it even better. This fishing kit is no joke, man. Very, very good one. Oh, look at that. I had this way back. I think I had this in the 80s, if it existed back then. The Gerber. You run this over. I had a friend who was in the first Gulf War, and he said he actually saw one of these get run over by a tank, and it still worked. <laughs> wow. I didn't even know where this was, man. That's crazy. It's a good tool. This is the, um, is it magnesium? Yeah, far, fire starter magnesium with a striker on it. This comes from the Marine Corps Survival Kit. Nice thing to have. Uh, this is all falling apart. It's got to be a survival kit of sorts. Yeah, oh yeah. I got the good whistle. I think this came from the Marine Corps Survival Kit as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's, uh... I've got um, snare wire in here, matches and candles uh, for starting a fire. Those are strike anywhere matches. This is a crazy glue container. More lip balm. You can never have enough lip balm. 
I've got these things on my teeth. That food always gets stuck. So just for comfort there. Look at this. Oh, I had no idea this stuff was in here. This is awesome. More candles. Wow. These are my dog tags are in here. I had no idea. It's, I've been in here for like 15 years, man. My dog tags with a P38 can opener on there. I actually wore these when I was in the court. I had no idea these were even in here. That's bizarre. I don't even know why they're in here. And this is the survival mirror from the Marine Corps survival kit. Uh, you peel that off. There's a mirror there. You look through the back and the instructions are here. So that. It's Christmas. This is like Christmas. I can't even, I can't get over the fact that this is even in here. Just imagine if you guys saw my apartment. <clears throat> I've been in the same pad for uh, February was 30 years. So you can imagine there's stuff in there that I have no idea about that's in there. Um, this blows my mind. That's garbage. And that's it. So we got the jute twine. We got a really good multi-tool. You know, solid piece of steel knife here, fixed blade, obviously, mylar blanket, decent little survival kit. You know, that's, that's good stuff in there. It's all usable. A whistle will carry a lot further than your voice. So if you had to yell for help, that's a very loud one. Um, I'll have to put all this back away here. I'll figure this out later, I suppose. Let's get into the Marine Corps survival tin. I might regret opening this. I've added things. Uh, LED light, demo knife. One of these are in there. Uh, ferro rod, snare wire, floss tool, compass, button compass matches were added. And there's already a list of what's in the survival tin. On the back, I've got some wet wipes and a... Um, uh, what do they call this? One of those lenses. You guys know what it's called. Um, oh, jeez. Well, it's one of those lenses. It's a magnifying lens, basically. But you can start a fire with that, too. Remember when you were a kid and you'd burn ants and stuff? Uh, if you didn't do that, you probably weren't in the Marines. <laughs> but this kit... Uh, maybe I should do a separate video on this. You're jonesing, right? You see me open it. If I don't open it now, you're going to be pissed. Let's just go ahead and tear it open. The You should look up the Marine Corps Survival Kit and uh, see what was in these things. They're pretty amazing. If you could find one. I went on the hunt, man, many years ago. and I, Like I said, I found two of them, and I cannibalized them. So... Uh, There it is. Now, <clears throat> this actually works. I tried the other one out. This is a saw, a wire saw, with these two nice, comfortable rings. You put the wire in here, you turn the little nut on there, and you got yourself a way to cut limbs. You don't need to cut down wood. What do you need? Well, you cut a limb down, then you process the timber, and you can start a fire. I've got more snare wire in here. I've got this flashlight, which definitely doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need that for? Well, what if it's dark? You take this, you turn it on, and now I can find this stuff that's in my kit. That's what that was for. Uh, got a compass, which doesn't appear to be working. Okay, it's working, and it's pointing in the right direction. So that's working. Look at this. I've seen people asking for $100 or more for these things these days. When I was buying these, they were $4.95. It goes back to the 90s. This is a Camellias from 1978, says on the blade there. So that's pretty good. I don't know if I should take all this apart. You got two kinds of line. You have a lighter and a heavier line. So I would suspect salt water, fresh water. I got Strike Anywhere matches in here. These are for my teeth. I've got a ferrosium rod here for, for sparks. And then there's just a plethora of I don't, I don't want to take it all out, but there's lures, fishing hooks, weights. There's a razor blade in there. There's more fishing line and leaders right here. There's even instructions on how to fish in here. So this is the Marine Corps Fishing Survival Kit. 
Very happy to have found this. I know I have another one in another kit somewhere, but this is mind blowing. So this little bag, I'll tell you what, man, pick this one apart, dudes. Pick this kit apart. I don't see how you do it. This is a, for this, this had some weight to it, right? This kit here is pretty heavy. This, that, this kit fitting in there, man, you have this in the trunk of your car or something, you grab it if you got to go. This is more of like a, you know, obviously a place where there's water where you could do some fishing, but you could survive off the land with this kit. It's no joke. Again, going back to having a tool, especially with pliers, the garbage you find, if you have a tin can, you can utilize this and the other tools that are in here, you can make yourself a hobo stove or whatever. Um, I think this is pretty, I think this is a pretty good kit here. Anyhow, I'm gonna put it all away now. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Come back again. Be good to one another. Uh, use the brain. I'll see you next time.